but Vos took home a big win. I'll tell you why next. And it's one of the most exciting stage shows in all of South Florida. The Dueling Divas will be live in our studios with a sneak peek of their smash hit. Stay with us. WPBF News 25 will be right back. Tropics in your five-day forecast when I come back in just a couple of minutes. They're called the Doling Divas, and they're traveling all over South Florida, and they've made a stop here to visit with me this morning, and they are in character, so we'll meet them later on. So good morning, Baroness. Oh, good morning, Baroness. <laughs> I am so happy to be here this morning. I am Baroness Vladke von Launenstimm, and I'm greatest opera star of my generation. I have with me today my young associate. Her name... Uh, her name. Oh, just call me La Bouvier, honey. <laughs> it's such a pleasure to be here with you this morning, and I do so apologize, but in a rehearsal, my high notes blew out three of your station monitors, so there won't be any singing today. <laughs> but y'all just have to come down this Saturday, July 12th, to South Beach for our little concert at the Colony Theater. Oh, her name, Gavandoline Josephine <laughs> Bellevoix Bouvier. Now, Baroness, how did this uh, Dueling Divas come to be? Oh, well, I have never sung in your country, so I decide to do concert tour of your great land. Now, in opera, the soprano, she has opportunity to leave stage half hour, 45 minutes, but in concert, I must sing entire evening. I get out. <laughs> so I say to my manager, let us hire American Soprano. And I sign five-year contract, and he bring me this young, inexperienced singer. You know, she's the pain. Oh, Gwendolyn, she calls you inexperienced. Well, how is it like while singing here with the Baroness? Well, Meredith, I will tell you, it is quite terrifying. <laughs> but not for the reasons you might imagine. You see, in confidence. Vladka is a little too fond of her vodka. Oh. Yes, and only last week she fell apart completely in the middle of a performance and I had to save the day by pulling out all the stops, including this little doll number I normally reserve for private affairs. Well, you uh, divas are quite dynamic this morning. I will oh, say that. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, honey. Thank you. And if you're wondering, like I am, who these divas really are, we'll be right back after the break here and we're going to introduce you to the, who those divas are. And uh, we're going to talk about the Dueling Divas uh, oh. trans uh, transportation here around the area. Okay. Bob, over to you. You mean that's not their normal thing? <laughs> okay. This it's time now for the weekly click. And you can always beat the traffic by going to our website, WPBS.com. The Dueling Divas are back, and this time we get to meet the ladies behind the makeup. Bob already got a quick shot, too, of the ladies that right. are running across. That's right. you see them running by <laughs> behind me? This is what they were doing, so they could change so fast out of the horns. Uh, well, Birgit Ferravanti and Wendy Reynolds, thanks for joining us this morning. The Divas themselves. So tell us, what is the Dueling Divas? Well, the Dueling Divas is a comedic operatic review. We are opera singers, and we have put together this show. We've created these characters. It has dialogue. It has plot. It has weapons. It's quite interesting and a lot of fun. And how in the world did you ladies come up with this idea? Well, we have performed together a lot, about eight years down here in South Florida, and uh, we just decided, you know, everybody's used to the normal recital, let's spice it up. Mm -hmm. And every time we did it, the audience wanted more, so we kept adding ingredients. And now we've got, what, 18 costumes, which I have to say, this woman has not only designed, but made with her own two hands. Oh, wow. Every <laughs> single costume. Uh, what, 11 wigs? 11 wigs. Weapons. <laughs> wow. Mass weapons. weapons. She's a weapons factory. Oh, oh, <laughs> yes, a horn helmet, of course, and a candelabra. We have a we have a pianist, Paige Turner. Mm -hmm. You know, this her name, Dr. Heather Coltman, and uh, she also has a character in the show that is quite flamboyant. Okay. So you think there's only two divas, but there's really there's a third more. one there. Yes. <laughs> well, tell us about your characters. Well, I am the Baroness Vladka von Laudenstimme, and I've based this character, uh, I'd say, largely on myself. <laughs> And divas we know, and Gwendoline? Well, I am indeed from the South, uh, Virginia and Texas, so that accent is legitimate once in a while. It pops out unbidden. Um, and that's pretty much it. You know, yeah, I think these are our closet diva selves coming out to, to just be really goofy. Plus some observances in the opera world that, you know, we put a little in there. So it's based a lot in reality, and that's what makes, I think, makes it funny. Okay. Very creative that you guys came up for this idea. Now, if folks want to see you, what can they do? Well, next we are going to be at the Colony Theater on Miami Beach, Saturday night, the 12th, at 8 p.m., 
and um, you can visit our website, www. Dot Dueling Divas with two L's, <laughs> 2divas2l's.com. Two All right, well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. The Dueling Divas, something to check out. Any tips to be divas? Any tips? Uh, <laughs> pretend. <laughs> pretend. Ask Eric Burris. <laughs> oh, Bobby. All right, thanks so much for joining us no, this thank morning. Thank you. Check them out uh, at South Beach at the theater down there, and that is going to do it for us this morning. We are back next weekend, bright and early, 5 a.m. on Saturday. And we definitely want to say congratulations to Palm Beach resident Venus Williams on her Wimbledon championship. The sisters also won doubles together, so thanks so much to them for being residents because it's unbelievable to watch them and uh, cheer them on. That's right. They win Wimbledon. We see you next weekend, if not before. Thanks for joining us. See ya.